Hi everybody, uh, my name is Kerry and I'm a sewing teacher in Australia, I moved from uh, the UK and uh, this is my channel, uh, it's the first video, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to carry on doing it, it's just um, a, um, it's just a trial, just to see if you like it or it's something you might want to watch. <clears throat> Um, but as I noticed like lots of other channels were doing sewing videos and um, you know like makes for the month well I never get a chance to make anything to be honest I'm terrible at sticking to times so um, what I thought I could do was maybe just show you what I do um, in with my students uh, in textiles so today um, I'm currently marking these cute little key rings. So they're little monster key rings. They're just made from felt. Um, they have to sew on at least one button. Yeah, so we've got lots of different things of these and I will uh, put some pictures up of different ones. And yeah, so this is what the year eights are doing just to get used to their hand sewing skills for now. Um, the year tens are currently making um, little dresses for girls in Africa. So um, just, sorry, I'm making these nice little dresses here. Um, they're just, they're called um, pillar slip dresses. And this is where the organization called um, Dress a Girl Around the World. So here you can see um, it's just a little elastic channel and then the binding. Okay so this little dress um, you basically just cut a tube of fabric you sew up the side seam here um, so there's no overlocking or anything and then you do the hem Turn up the hem, double double turned hem, and then you make um, the elastic channel to the front and the back. Insert the elastic, and then your length of binding becomes the armhole, and also a cute little tie. And they're really really sweet little dresses. And I've been practicing lots on my um, neatening and attaching. Oh, I'm not very good at binding, guys. So. Um, yeah, I think I've done a pretty good job. This was my attempt a few years ago. Uh, no, I think you'll agree, it's uh, it's improved lots. Look at this, it's flapping down and everything. But this, I'm so proud of, oh, delicate. I'm so proud of this, it's really, looks really neat for me. Uh, yeah, so in teacher, I know. But um, yeah. It took me a while to get the hang of it and find trial different ways, but this one seemed to work for me. So that's what my year tens are doing so far. Just working on a few sewing skills. We are also making these cute little drawstring bags too to put them in. So these are really easy to make. Um, I've done a few instructions here for my students and they're going to be making those next. Um, it's really easy. It's just one long piece of fabric um, and then stitch at the side seams, uh, leaving a little gap here, making a channel and then um, pulling the ribbon at either side, which um, gathers it all in together. They're really easy. Each um, dress that gets made has this Dress a Girl Around the World label on it. And um, this is basically to ward off any predators that might uh, be looking to um, traffic girls, etc. you know, um, lead them away from their families. So this is meant to alert them, uh, to let them know that the girls are being looked after by an organisation. So that label just gets um, heat pressed on at the end and hopefully it stays up. So my year nines, they are going to be making 
next week when the fabric arrives in Spotlight. These snazzy little kimonos. It's just a one size fits all. This is um, some really nice silky rayon fabric from Spotlight. Uh, all different patterns and um, colors. So this is really nice. It's just a short sleeve one. Um, just another basic sewing skills for the year nines before they start making more um, interesting things. <laughs> and all it is is joining seams together doing a closed seam and then a hem. So um, this is one from last semester. You see the hem's a little bit wonky, but up here, um, we just overlock it and turn it up. Um, this might be an exam good example. This is, this is one they left behind. So um, really nice, pretty pattern. Um, I will link up the pattern number that we are using for this kimono it's really simple make for um for year nines so um before covid took away all our creativity we used to do these really nice um sublimation printed as uh, kimonos where they design their own print based on a designer or artist and then uh, we, they make the print and then we sublimation print them onto this white uh, polyester satin. And uh, that's what we used to do before. Um, but because of COVID, then we started just ordering normal fabric and I turned it into a skill-based product, product project instead. They also make an optional belt you can see here, this is actually nicely finished. It just needs a good press. And you can see even the neckline has been nicely finished on this one. It's such a shame that they didn't actually take it home. Okay, well, it's time for me to go home now. And um, I'm always early. I just like doing things for myself and catching up, as you know. Um, I'm currently cutting up fabrics for the little drawstring bags for the dress a girl around the world for tomorrow's year 10 lesson. So it never stops, as you know, if you're a textiles teacher. So um, I'm going to go home now and um, maybe see you in another video. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, hi. Hi, I'm back. Um, I've got a different top on. This is just a quick one. I'm just jumping in to say that I've now got some things to mark and the fabric from Spotlight is in. So hopefully I'll be able to come back uh, if I do another video with the kimono dresses. And also just while I'm on this, this is my little um, Ukraine felt flower that I made. Hey, we got the fabric from Spotlight. I'll be showing you close-ups in just a minute. Look at this gorgeous viscose. We've got some daisies, we've got some beautiful flowers, some wedgewood type, we've got some blossom, little flowers, a bit of paisley, some little daisies, beautiful blue flower, this lovely tropical green print, some nice blue cornflower type. And then we've got a little bit more muted here, a bit more muted here too. And then we've got a little bit of retro. I love these. These are my favorite three. Nice retro. All 100% viscose, a really nice quality, all from Spotlight. Oh, I can't believe I forgot this one. This gorgeous Aboriginal print by Agnes uh, Nampajimpa. I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but I'll zoom in on the name. All from Spotlight, beautiful colors, and there is a lot more from Abor Aboriginal artists. So get yourself down to Spotlight and have a look. Okay, wow, the little dresses are nearly done. So I've got some marking to do. How cute are these? They've got a little bag with a drawstring finished in two different colorways and their choice of binding. And finished with a gorgeous little dresser girl around the world label. I'm gonna look forward to marking these. 